What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Deshaun checking in once again, and I'm back again with another video. Man, you already know how it go, man. If you're new to the channel, you're feeling the vibes, comment down below with the bell and subscribe, son. That's right. So check it out, man. Y'all see this mural right behind me, bro? You feel me? Y'all see the boy, the kid got his logo on it, right? Well, guess what I'm gonna be doing today? I'm gonna be showing y'all how to put your very own logo or picture or whatever on this wall right here, right in the hood, right down the street from your auntie down high, right up the street from the project down, you feel me? So without any further ado, man, y'all take that in because I'm getting ready to show y'all in three, two, one. Alright guys, welcome to the messiest desktop you have ever seen. Got a lot going on, so what? Don't care. Anyway, two things we're going to need for this, man. First thing we're going to need is Open IV. Second thing we're going to need is Paint 3D. That's right. So, first things first, let's go ahead and open up Open IV. Alright. And when we get that open, make sure you hit Edit Mode, of course. And we're going to travel over to GTA 5 Mods folder right there. Boom, boom. Now, this is going to require us to go inside of x64g.rpf. If you don't have x64g, which a lot of you probably won't have it because we never really had a reason to go in there, all you got to do is open up your main GTA 5 directory real quick. Like When it's open, scroll all the way down to the bottom till you see these joints here. And we're going to grab x64g. So let's right click on x64g. We're going to hit copy scroll up to the mods folder double click on that come right over here to a empty space or we call it the drop zone now uh right here in the drop zone we're gonna right click and we're gonna hit paste i already did it, so if you ain't got it go ahead and do it i'm gonna give y'all a second to do that All right, I hope everybody is done with that. Once you are done with it and you go back to OpenIV, you will then see x64g.rpf there. So let's go ahead and pick up where we left off by clicking or double clicking x64g.rpf, levels, GTA 5, generic, and we're going to go to gtxd.rpf. Boop, boop. All right, once we get in here, we're going to scroll all the way down till we get to the S's. The S's. And we're looking for, let me find it, SC1 block 11 plus high.ytd and SC1 block 11.ytd. I'm going to highlight both of them for you. These are the two we're going to be working with. Now, let's go ahead and click in one of them. Don't matter which one you click in. It's both the same picture. Double click. And you will see this right here. Now, I did my best. I did have mine customized, as you've seen in the previous video. But I did my best to locate the original one. And I believe this is the original one that was in there. All right. So this is what you guys should see, maybe, I think. So what we're going to do is right-click on this. We're going to hit Export. We're going to hit Come Down Here. Very important. If you don't do this, you won't be able to edit it. So, all right, so we're going to hit save as type, click in that, and we're going to save it as a PNG image. Once that's changed, make sure you know where you're saving it. I like to save mine on the desktop, as you can see, but I clean every month, so who cares, bro? So I'm going to save it on my desktop, hitting save, boom, and you should see it pop up somewhere. somewhere. There it is right there. That's it. There it is right there. just popped up right there. All right, now I can leave this up. I can cancel, whatever. I'm just going to leave this alone. Now, what I'm going to do is right click on it and I'm going to hit edit with paint 3D. Dun, dun, dun. All right, let's get to work, y'all. Now, this will probably only work if you have PNG images. For those of y'all who don't know what a PNG image is, it's basically a picture without a background, all right? So for kicks, I'm going to head on over here to the internet, man. 
and I'm gonna type in oh let's see uh let me think let me think let me think 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 let me think let me think let me think 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 let me think let me think let me think 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 let me think let me think 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 I need a PNG image of something. Y'all help me out. Help me out. Something. Something. Uh, I can't think. Mine is blank. What's popping right now? Space Jam. All right. Forget it. Let's do Space Jam. We're going to do Space Jam PNG. No. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's do this. New Lakers PNG. And let's take that L off the beginning. Hopefully, I'm, I'm trying to see if I can find that giant with the new teammates. Westbrook and them. Boy, Lakers going to be a problem this year. All right, forget it. Let's do LeBron. This is a LeBron. P no. No. Can't talk about the Lakers without talking about Kobe. Understand that. So, we finna do a Kobe Bryant mural. On Grove Street, uh, well, uh, Strawberry, or whatever you want to call it. Now, this looks to have a white background. If it's going to be a PNG image, you'll see, like, boxes, like little squares, like white and gray squares. So, I don't think that's a PNG image. Kobe, PNG. Give me a good one. There it is. That's the legendary. Yep, that is a PNG image. My computer. All right, I see the squares. This is a PNG image. So let's right click. I'm going to save this joint right here. All right. I'm also going to do Black Mamba. Black Mamba, Kobe. Maybe I'll get some lettering. That's what I was looking for right there. I was looking for something like this right here. I'm going to grab that. Save. And let me grab... Uh, I like this. I like this too. Is that a PNG? Yeah. Save image. All right. We're going to make a Kobe Bryant mural on the wall all right i'm gonna put this picture up here just so y'all can have a reference all right so this right here is what the wall looks like in the game okay so as you, now as you can see it's a lot of stuff on here however this graffiti piece i think is over to the right over there this right here this 88 you see where the 88 is you see where the sa is and you see where this is right you see where the F is? So what we're going to do is we're going to put Kobe Bryant right here. Because we want him to be big in the middle. Right there. Boom, boom, boom. Chamberlain is somewhere else. I don't know where it is. But it's graffiti all over there. So we want to focus on this guy, this guy, and this guy. Now, first things first. When you add images, this white square right here will enlarge. And if you don't crop it back to the exact measurements, it will mess up your work. Let me give you an example. I'm going to go ahead and insert an image. And don't worry, I'm going to show you all how to do that. Don't worry about that. I'm going to show you all what I just did, but just to show you all real quick. Let's go ahead and insert an image. So let's insert Fat Jordan. Now, I inserted a picture. I'm going to go ahead and delete that picture. Now, you all see what happened? Pay attention to these white lines right here. Do, 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 do. Insert. Let's insert Fat Jordan again. All right, insert Fat Jordan. Now these white lines are no longer right here. They expanded some. It's no longer here. They expanded. So if you save this, put it in the game, your work will be all messed up. I promise you. So I'm going to show you guys how to make guidelines. So you always crop it back down to the perfect size. First thing we're going to do is grab this uh, spray paint can right here, the spray can. And I just do a loud color like lime green or yellow or something like that. I take it all the way down, take the thickness all the way down to 25 or as low as it'll go. 
and you zoom in on this corner go ahead and hit this corner just like that that's it so that way you can see exactly where it is where it stop where it go and we're gonna do all four corners I'm gonna show you guys why this is very important boom let's get this corner boom and last but not least let's get this corner boom now here's what happens <clears throat> let's say I add a picture this is the last joint I'm gonna give you before we get started child let's add Susie Carmichael boom Susie Carmichael's in here I put Susie down here boom I want to put Susie right here now we got to crop it back down to the right size well now we know exactly what size we're cropping back down to we hit crop right here we can I'm gonna bring these up bring this down here and here now let's zoom in and we know we need to crop pull this over right about there we need to bring this up right about here boom over here we need to bring it over boom and up here we need to bring it down boom and bring it over no we good on that side yeah so we pretty much good there yeah we good and that ladies and gentlemen is how you crop it back down so these that's why these guidelines are important and I actually need to go over some just a tad bit see that need to go over just a tad bit cuz I want to get it right back down to the perfect size so once we get in game nothing is messed up boom all right so I'm gonna undo all of this and we'll get started guys so let's go ahead and do that now so first thing we're gonna do now that we got our guidelines we need to decide exactly what we're gonna you know use what we are not gonna use we're gonna get rid of this guy right here another thing I like to do I'm gonna get my pixel pin here bring that all the way down and I'm going to mark where the bottom is this is where the bottom is this is where the side is this is where the top is and this is where my side gonna be now right here in the picture y'all see that this gun smoke part right here kind of goes way over you know what I'm saying but we probably gonna stay centered with this so I wanna cut it off probably like right here I want my cut off to be I want it to be congruent so my cutout gonna be right right here now let's grab our eraser and we're gonna erase all of this crap here I ain't calling it crap my, my apology I don't mean to say crap but we're gonna erase what we're not using no more we're gonna erase what we're gonna replace let's erase what we replacing All right, I'm gonna make my erase a little bit bigger so I can cover more ground. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, well, I really don't care. I'm not changing out the Chamberlain, so I don't care if that get messed up a little bit. I'm not really doing nothing with that. boom I gotta bring this thickness down just a little bit here all right I got it erased now to replace I'm gonna go back to menu I'm gonna hit insert and I'm gonna search for the Kobe Bryant picture which is right there now, the reason why I say PNG works best can't have no background because if it has a background of course it'll still work but you don't want to put something up there with an actual background on it then it just look like somebody just stuck a big ass sticker up there or something like that so we know that where the top is at because we made this mark so let's bring Kobe down a little bit boom so I want to keep him out right here 
and bring them out some. But see, I don't want them too wide. I want them to still look good. And I know this is by like like the middle part right here because I made that mark right in the right in the middle. So I'm gonna put this here. All right. Right about. I I think that's yeah that's cool. That's cool right there. Let's see if we can go up just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna start right there. Boom. All right, so Kobe Bryant will be right in the middle. Now that we're done with that, let me see. We missed you last time. Where is we missed you last time? Oh, that was on the thing. I'm tripping. So Kobe Bryant's feet will be at the bottom there. So it might be cut off a little bit, but it's all good. Let me see. It'll be close, but it's all good. I'm going to grab my eraser, and I'm going to erase my guidelines now. Now that I'm done with this part. Erase these guidelines. You don't want to touch these yet. This is say that for last. Erase this. I'm gonna put it up to a two. Yeah, six is good. Boom, boom. All right, that's done. Now, as we see on the picture, 88 is at the top right. So I'm gonna put something there. And SA is at the top left, so I'm going to put something there. So let me go ahead and get the pixel pin, put it to 1. And I'm going to make my guidelines right here in the middle. I'm going to make a line right here. Right in the middle at the bottom. Uh, see, this is the lowest point right here. So I'm going to make a line right here, middle ways. On this side and on this side. So now that I got that blocked off, roped off, marked off, let's grab our eraser and let's go to work. Careful, careful. Make it a little bit bigger, cover some ground. Boom. Woo, I almost erased it. I mean, I can still see it, so it's cool. It's cool. I still see it. If it's cool with you, it's cool with me. You know what I'm saying? If you need to make another mark, Let's do it. Make it darker. Hey, make it darker. All right, now that we got that marked off, let's go ahead and what are we putting there? Menu, insert. I'm going to put the this on one side. And that's the SA, so it's going to be at the top left. Bring this down here. So this is the middle right there. That's the middle. Bring that up. All right there. In this particular picture, I don't want to go right here because these go up a little bit higher. So I'm trying to make sure these right here up that way. Bring this over to the right right here. Bring this. Dang, it's going to be pretty. Okay. Bring that down. About right there. That should be good. When you zoom out, you can see what it is. All right, let's grab our eraser. Erase our guidelines. And hey, let's say you your guidelines are, I mean, your eraser is too big. You go to erase your guidelines and boom, you mess up. It's fine. Just hit the undo button up here. And then make your adjustments in the, on the thickness right there. I know somebody probably just did it when I said that. I felt like that. You know what I'm saying? I felt like somebody like, damn, I just messed up. All right. Last but not least. 88. We got to get the 88, son. All right. Y'all know what it is. Right here in the middle. Lowest point. On the side. Actually. Let me get a little bit closer. On the side top boom let's grab that eraser let's go to work boom skirt all right Got all that. Let me make it bigger. All right, let's go to work. Menu. 
insert and we're gonna do the black mamba jank with the basketball you from up north you like basketball LeBron can't play no basketball nah shout out to LeBron man one of the greatest to ever do it too man like get, come on give credit what credit is due LeBron is the ish but we ain't talking about LeBron right now damn it we talking about Kobe the legend now if you can go up on this and we can go down on it too Oh yeah, I know I can make that probably as big as I want it, and it's still gonna look okay. As long as I stay in them guidelines, I'm good. Over here, about right there, I'm watching this line here. That's good. That's good. That's good for me. That's good for me. All right, let's grab this eraser. Ooh, bring that thickness down. Erase our guidelines. Boom. Black Mamba. Now, also, y'all see the F right here is on that too. I don't really have anything to put there. Actually. Actually, you know what? I know what I can put there. I know what I can put there. Let me see. Uh let me try to find this. Let me try to let me try to let me try to find this. His signature will be dope. Signature would be dope. I'm going to say that. Boom. The signature would be dope. If that's a PNG, it's going to be dope. All right. Matter of fact, let me see if it's a PNG. Where's that signature at? I got a lot of stuff in here, man. Y'all see why I be working. Boom. It is a sick. I mean, it is a PNG. Cool. So let's back up. Let me make my marks. Let me make my guidelines. This is the furthest point. I'm going to just run through this. Because by now, y'all pretty much got the hang of what I'm doing. I erased most of my mark right there. Let me make it back. All right. Now, y'all see where the F at? Y'all see where the other joint at? I want to... It was here. So, I want to put the signature. Let me grab that signature. Boom. Boom. All right. I wonder how this going to look. I'm going to have it kind of high. I'm going to put it about right here. That F, the top of the F is there. So, I'm going to make it as wide as I can. About right there. Go up. Oh, no. Don't tilt it. Put it back at zero. Oh, one. There it is. Zero. All right. Let's bring it up. And let's bring this part down. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. If I bring it over some, I can bring it down further. Because I don't want it to tie in with this one right here. And I think that is good, y'all. I got his signature. He done autographed the wall, you heard me? So let's erase our guidelines. Boom. Boom. And this is it, y'all. Last step we got to do is uh, crop it back down. And uh, we finna put it in the game and see what's what. So what we changed was this right here. The Kobe joints at the top right and left. And we put his signature at the bottom. Now it's time to crop. So we're going to crop it back down. Thank goodness we got these corner markings right here. Now I can get closer. We need to go up, boom, right there. We good there. Where we at here? 
go down right there we good there we good on the sides right there yeah we good we good on the sides we good on the sides we good on the bottom yep we good there done now last thing we need to do is hit that eraser make it small okay we ain't gotta go too small ain't nothing right there touching and we gotta erase these corner markings right here that's all we gotta do All right, let's go back down to the bottom. Erase those joints. Last but not least. All right. Now, we're going to hit menu. We're going to hit save. And let's minimize. Don't exit minimize, because what if it didn't save? Boom, now you got to do all this work over again. All right, we still got this up. It's right there. I can see Kobe right there. So, we good. Now, all I got to do is right-click on this. And let's say you did hit cancel. All you got to do is open it back up. Double-click. Right-click on this picture. You're going to hit replace this time. We are, on, we are under desktop, so let's scroll down and find the picture. If you see it as a list, like if yours is in like a list form like that, then all you do is come right here and at least hit medium icons did i have mine on large yeah i have mine on large scroll down until we see it there it is right there click on that and hit open and boom it changes save and now that was uh that was sc1 block 11 plus high dot ytd if you started out on this one it's cool because all you're gonna do is go go to the next one double click and we're going to right click, replace. We're going to change that picture. It is the same picture, but you got to get both of them. Boom. Save. So you got to put the same picture in SC1 block 11 plus high dot YTD and SC1 block 11 dot YTD. So click in here. Boom. Pictures in there. Click in here. Boom. Pictures in there. Now it's time to hop in the game and see what we did, y'all. So hang tight. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back in the game. Had to throw in just a little bit of purple. As a matter of fact, you already know I got to do a Kobe tribute. So I'm going to, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to hook something up, man. I should have been there to Kobe tribute, man. All right, so let's go ride over here and see how we did. If you off a little bit, it's okay. Practice makes perfect. What's she walking out of my car for? Oh, this is my favorite charger, man. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. Let's park right in front of this joint. All right, so let's see how we did. Mm, Ooh, girl. Hmm. So I see I could have brought Kobe over a little bit to the right. All right, so if I brought him over a little bit more to the right, it would be perfect, which is why I told y'all, don't exit out of your work. When you put your stuff into the game to see how it looks, always leave paint 3d up in the background so now i know all i gotta do is go back and either undo you know go back or just erase and move it over you see what i'm saying but now i know what's going on i see where the basketball is at you know i see i need to probably move it over probably an inch and a half to the right and that should be centered for this for this uh actual wall piece other than that black mama looks good the kobe pitch up there on the top left looks good the signature looks okay um, and hey, you can put whatever you want to right there, man. Whatever you want to. I'm gonna let's let's erase this. Get rid of that pole. Get rid of that box right there. That looks good, man. Let me get some more daylight. There we go. Oh, light it up, cuz. Light it up, cuz. 
That's beautiful. Should I do this as a thumbnail or should I do mine at the beginning of the video as a thumbnail? Let me know in the comments. Uh, hell, you can't let me know in the comments below because the video going to already be out. So it really don't matter. But I'm going to decide which one I'm going to do as a thumbnail. But this is beautiful, man. This is a beautiful picture. Uh, and this also is going to conclude my video for the day. So if y'all enjoyed this, if this is going to help y'all out. Um, hold on. Wait. Before we finish. Before we finish. Let me show y'all something. This is the other graffiti that's on that um, joint. So if y'all want to take a picture of this to keep as a reference for where it's going to be at. Like over there. I think... I don't know. See, see that Kobe's Kobe's also over here. So Kobe's pretty much gonna be everywhere. That eighty-eight that we replaced is gonna be everywhere. Come over here. We got the Black Mamba joint right there. Chamberlain, which is directly up underneath where we were at. That's that's posted up right there. Let's see where else is some other stuff at. Where else is some other graffiti? You got another Kobe right there. So wherever you replace the SA and the 88, or whatever you replace, it's going to pop up in multiple places in the hood. I know for a fact we got some more over here. Oh, it's pretty clean right there. Pretty clean right there, my boy. That shit need to stop. Yeah, well, do something about it. Make it stop. Make it stop. All right, we got a black mamba up there, Kobe right there, another black mamba right there. So that's pretty dope, man. Y'all just get a, a mental note of where the graffiti is around the hood, and then you can go and change it. I know right here was something. Um, that garbage can out of the way. Kobe Bryant's signature right there. Y'all pretty much get the gist of this, man. You get the drift for this, man. Time to just, Time to just shut the fuck up. Yeah, you. Mm. 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 Oh, no. The hell, you didn't, boy. But anyway, y'all get what it is. Y'all get what it ain't. Y'all keep doing what y'all doing. Keep liking, keep commenting, keep subscribing. Make sure y'all do me a favor before y'all do anything else. Stop what you're doing right now. Because I got some huge news. Matter of fact, I got some huge news I should have told y'all at the beginning of the video. Something I just found. I just got an insider scoop about Grand Theft Auto 6. So y'all want to stop what y'all doing and listen up. Cut your TVs up because this is facts. I got some inside, like some, some top secret information about GTA 6. I'm going to tell y'all right now. I just found out that the creator... Of GTA 6 has not been born yet okay so other than that keep liking keep commenting keep subscribing do me a favor hit that sub button right there make sure you hit that post notification bell so you can see every time your boy drops some heat other than that man the kid is out RP Kobe and Gia man I should, I'm, I'm actually going to replace that with Kobe and Gia's picture. But, yeah, I'm out, man. Peace.